Hello and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. We just got the rainbow shell in the last episode, and so what we are doing now... I I'm actually so glad that we can land right there. Oh my goodness. You have no idea how glad that makes me. But, it is a Guardia keepsake now, so we need to get here to the rainbow shell so that we can, well, give it to Melchior. What other craftsmen do we know who can make forge amazing weaponry and equipment from such a thing. But the trial of the century is about to begin. Whose, you ask? King Guardia's, of course. What? Wait, it's been a while since we've been here. Say the king sold off the royal treasures. The king ordered that the court be locked until the trial's over. He ordered that the court be locked. Okay. Can we go this way? King ordered that the court be locked. Okay, so... No way to go anywhere else, so I guess we need to... to figure this out. Alright. So can we go... Oh, at least we can go down here. Oh man. Cut the foolishness. I can't get anything done with you standing around. Jeez, I ain't gonna poison the Chancellor. Man. What could be going on? It's down this way. Oh. Well, that's a little suspicious, isn't it? Hmm. I feel like something's happening. Something wicked this way comes. Is this? It's still locked. Hmm. I wonder what's in there. No entry allowed. Let me through. Had a girl. Had any of you heard of the rainbow shell? I too had no idea until I found this. It's an ancestral will. It says, unveil the rainbow shell to the people at the Millennial Fair. What are you talking about? We have no family heirlooms here. So this is a forgery? Why does the defendant deny the people a glimpse of the rainbow shell? Because he lo no, no longer has it. He sold the heirloom for cash. Witness, please. W w what is it, Nadia? We're in the middle of a trial. Father. Nadia, the Chancellor is trying to frame me. He hurls insults. Confirm your innocence with proof. Proof? Yes, if he hasn't sold the heirloom, it should be in the castle. Show me the rainbow shell, and I'll accept his innocence. <laughs> Chancellor, what kind of trickery is this? Remove them. Interesting. Ocean Palace music. No entry allowed. Let me throw. Princess, not even you may enter. Find the rainbow shell, and we'll be able to prove the king's innocence. What are you saying? It's a lie. There is no heirloom. We changed history back in 600 AD, so the rainbow shell should still be in the castle. Aha! The rainbow shell we gave to my ancestor 400 years ago is still here. It's probably in the basement. Uh, no, don't shake your head. That's where we need to go. Interesting that the uh, the basement is a newly added section of the castle, apparently. Oh, well, this guy's out like a light. Ouch, a rat bit me. Oh, okay. The boss is itching to avenge the grudge that's been in his family for 13 generations. <laughs> Dumber. <laughs> He's gonna frame the king. <laughs> I, uh, they look like the same ones from, yeah, they're probably about as strong as the same ones from the very first one. So this is what I was talking about before, callbacks. I, I was talking about this in the last episode with, with, uh, the Rust Tyranno and the Tyranno Lair. So there is a plot, 
let's hurry. So this is a callback to the very first dungeon that we went to. I confess, I bought it from the king. He said he needed the cash. Liar, I've never even seen you before. Order in the court. Heh <laughs> was that convincing? Perfect. Treasure chests? <laughs> Alright, yeah, no, these are super weak. I almost want to have Chrono in the party rather than Marl. But it makes this makes sense. This group makes sense. Because it was Chrono, Luca, and Frog. Alright. Trying the bar the way, are ya? Dunk! <laughs> Even the weakest attacks. <laughs> I love this Ocean Palace music, though. flame toss. And then I'll just shoot the other one. Or I think she'll just bonk her on the head. Bonk. There we go. It's surprising they don't actually have more challenging monsters. They don't even they don't even give the pretense that it's just like, oh no, these are different. These are stronger monsters from 400 years ago. So, yeah, it's the exact same ones. get to the bottom of this plot. And... Got an elixir? Can we go back here? I like how we're just robbing the place anyway. We're the ones who are robbing the place blind. Hyper Ether and Lapis. There it is. The rainbow shell. What's this? A letter. To Marl? Dearest Marl, I know things are tough between you and your father. But nothing can break your bond of blood, neither words of anger nor great distances. Some day, when you have children, you will understand. This special bond is a part of our family tree which links us together. Queen Guardia the twenty first, and Lee. Boy, she can tell it like it is. Father, hang in there, we're coming. Got a prism shard. Members of the jury, if he is guilty, stand to the left. If innocent, stand to the right. Guilty. Oh, we are just burning through. No time. Alright. No time, I said. <laughs> right. There we go. And we are hurrying. We are almost back. At first I thought the guard tried to stop us. It's like, nope, nope. Just the controls. Just the controls. There are a lot of looms. Princess, not even you may enter. You won't reconsider? No, Princess. There is one way. It's a bit rough, but just follow me. The verdict is in. Guilty. They reduced the number of jury, I guess. The Guardia line ends here. This domain shall be mine. Take him away. Wait. Who is it?
Father! Nadia! Princess, control yourself. You're too late. The king has been found guilty. Even kings are subject to our laws. No, this was a setup. Nonsense. The king's a crook. But the treasure is right here. Impossible. Your little scheme is over, Chancellor. Uh, I mean, uh... Huh? <laughs> it's not the plot you think. I'm here to avenge my ancestors. Super Ultra Presto Transformo! He's a mole! Again! Yakra the 13th. Let's see what Glacier can do. That's... that's a bit. Lucas, stop trying to hit your own allies. Please stop trying to hit your own allies. Please, please, Luca. Alright. This is doing work. Luca, please stop trying to hate your own allies. Luca, have you come to your senses now? Yes, you have. Good. Frog Flare, doing it. <laughs> 2,500 damage? Don't mind if I do. Haste on Luca. I know I'm being a little bit risky and not healing, but it should still be fine. Hitting Luca again. My goodness. Would you please stop doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I should. Antipathy 3. Do it. <laughs> Intense action! I just wanted to do that. No other reason. It's a horrible, horrible waste of mana. Heard about it from the ancestors. Your weaknesses are... Oh, yeah. That is indeed the thing that hurts real bad. Uh, Marl. There. Okay, yeah. Life 2? And Leap Slash. Yeah, he has a... He has a nasty needle spin. Uh, of course.
Red pet. There. And... Haste. Yakra the 13th has a lot of HP. I would sort of laugh if he has 300. There are 13 times the HP. Alright. Double cure. And flare. He's gotta be running low. Gots to be running low. Ah, oh, come on. Be done. Alright, this will hit one target. Is Luca. There. Darn it. <laughs> Real frustrating when that happens. Is he gonna hit Luca again? He doesn't. Okay. Thankfully. Now I can go back to hitting him with red pen. Yeah, this guy has an in de defeat again. Oof. And down he goes. 3,500 and 2,000 gold. Mega Elixir. <laughs> Father, I... No, don't say it. I was wrong to be so stubborn. No, I didn't even think about how you felt. Um, I know it in my heart, but the words just come out wrong. I too have that problem. I thought you left me, but realized that it was I who abandoned you. But I'm here now. We'll talk about everything that's happened. About Chrono, and Mother, and... Your mother. How sad. It has taken me so long to understand what Eliza meant with her last words. Someday, when Nadia grows up, she will bring her beloved to meet you. Welcome him warmly. It'll be a day you remember forever. You heard her last words? Of course. You were so young. You ran around saying, Daddy, it's fun having all my favorite people here. Seeing you so happy, she felt reassured and she left us quite peacefully. So that's how it was. Yes. Why? I used to call you Daddy. You did? I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm really sorry for doubting you. Hm. I'll let you exit the castle, but you be careful. Take care of her. Yes, sir. It's my turn now. Melchior. Can't let you run the whole show. Let me make some weapons from the rainbow shell. Finally, time for me to do something. Watch and learn. All right. Sorry, fellas. I'm terribly embarrassed. Take care of Princess Nadia, okay? All right, well, it's... Melchior is going to be over here, and apparently he's going to be working on the rainbow shell. Well, we don't know what happened to that guard, who apparently a rat bit him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ba -ba -ba. 
There we go. This is very rare. As armor, it deflects magic. I can make you one prism dress, featuring maximum defense, or I can make three less effective prism helms. Which would you prefer? Uh, the, the dress? The prism dress? Only females may equip it. I want the prism dress. Alright, you just wait there. <laughs> Finished. Off you go now. Ah, a sunstone. I'll create an alloy out of it. Finished. Off you go now. Prism specs. And... Uh, <laughs> don't think that's the last of my bag of tricks. Melchior's equality, uh, smith. Finished. Off you go now. Rainbow. I finally feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. Alright. So, the three things. Prism dress, which is high, high defense and cuts magic damage by one third. Then there were the prism specs, which I'm actually going to see. First, Chrono, 70% critical hit rate for his rainbow. And the Prism Specs ups attack power to the max. <laughs> so Chrono is definitely going to be in our party for the the final epic battle, mainly because he's actually the highest level. So Chrono will be there. Marl might be a good choice. Hmm. I'm still working on it. Still going to try and figure out. Right. So, we have completed that side quest. Going. Go and. Oh, is that it? I had to I had to look at the FAQ just to make sure. But this might be the last of the side quests. Which I don't know, is a little a little sad actually. Alright, Chrono's definitely gonna be in the party. He needs his uh he needs his payback. There's there won't really be any opportunity to charming. Well there might be. Hmm. So just observing. So there is a chance for char for charming some stuff out of monsters. Uh, should I risk that though? So this is the this is the ultimate dilemma. Because let's go to the end of time, and we're going to figure this out right quick. Because what we're going to do is you can technically just jump right into the Lavos fight. And, you know, think nothing of it, all of that sort of thing. Like, you just use that. You wish to fight Lavos. Duh. Or there's the Black Omen. It's up to you. Well, 
One of you is close to someone who needs help. I thought I had that one. Hmm. Let me check that real quick. Because I thought that one was the... The, uh, helping Luca's mother. Alright, let me... So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna check that out because I was fairly certain that that was something that was one of you is close to someone who needs help. The original line is something like, regarding their own eras, there should be people among you who know about them. You should try asking. <laughs> Interesting. So I, I looked it up on a board. So yeah, that's a mistranslation. So that one, I thought I had, oh yeah, well, whatever. So all that is left is the Black Omen. Well then. Oh my. <laughs> we will go through the Black Omen, because it is important to... to do. Come on. Yes, thank you. Um, huh. I'm trying to think of whether I should just cut this episode off right now, or whether I should... I, I'll, I'll actually spend the time deliberating, because the Black Omen, the, the, the thing about the Black Omen is that, as I was saying a little bit before, you can take this and go directly to Lavos. Like, you can you can just do that. The, the problem with that it's a very simple problem. Uh, actually, let's do that. And blue guys. You might wonder what I'm doing, but I'm going to try to fight Specchio. Oh my gosh, he's at his highest one. Hey, Punkhead, where you been? I can look for... Oh my goodness, okay. Well, this might end horribly. It probably will end horribly. Ah, everyone immediately gets confused. <laughs> That was the worst outcome ever. Frog won't die. 
I'm gonna hit you once. Still, uh, still figuring this one out. Thankfully, he, uh, gives all of our health and MP back. So Chrono's gonna be knocked out now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a spell that just instantly knocks somebody out. <laughs> so, so yeah. I've, I've never been good at fighting spec heal. I mean, there's no reason to. Yeah. I mean, he just keeps hitting with the really low attacks, just to spite. Just out of spite. Why don't we just send Specchio after Lavos? I think things would end much faster. Yeah. I was I was hoping he wasn't in this form. I don't. Uh, I'm actually a little frustrated at that. But well, everyone's back to full now, so all's well that ends well. But anyway, we are. <laughs> you were able to listen to me frustratedly look at. <laughs> Just a losing battle. An inevitably, like, just impossible fight. Alright, so... Interestingly enough, it, it seems that the Black Omen has really done nothing to anyone. To the point that whenever you... Whenever you, uh talk to people about it, then they're just like, oh, it's sparkling brilliantly, it's shining so nicely, and it's like, really? That's that's the takeaway? The takeaway is the giant floating fortress is sparkling? That's, that's nice. Alright. So, I'm actually going to end it right here. This will be... I don't know if this is a little shorter, I actually turned on the timer a little later, but uh, regardless, I'm going to stop it here, and we are going to, we're going to try, we're going to try to tackle the, the we're going to try and tackle the Black Helmet. I'm not looking forward to this, this will take a while. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and as always, I hope you have a blessed day, and that you tune in next time. Take care, guys.